All right, hell yeah. We got Timmy coming on, guy who um, embarrassingly lost to Swoops and Panda. That was unfortunate. I suck. <laughs> I don't remember too much, honestly. Like I'm kind of like you know frame by frame kind of guy. I don't remember past that much. But what happened with that? Let's with hear what? From you. When your guys is lost. It looked like you guys were doing really well. I mean, you got that one lucky win in the second round, but I, I was expecting you guys to do a lot better. Oh, me too. I, we've never played. We get uh, we never teamed together before. There's a lot of synergy that comes with teaming with each other a lot, and just small mechanics and stuff like that. And these guys, I mean, all these guys we were playing against today too. They've teamed a lot. I was I did exactly. Where I expected to do. Yeah, well, get, definitely oh, good practice. I hear you guys are going to Vegas. What is it next weekend? In two weeks. Two weeks and for DVDA hope, seven. Hopefully, you guys can do really good in doubles and definitely singles. You know, doubles is this is whatever, but the rec real recognition is in singles. But here, let's jump into this match here. This is grand finals here for teams. All right. So it looks like what I've been saying these this Wario and Gaming Watch, their big strategy isn't really divide and conquer. It's just go back and forth, control the middle of the stage, and hit whoever comes by them. And it seems to be really working out of them, especially for these zony characters. Keep them on the outside, control the middle, and it's like taking their strategy with non zony characters. So what do you think? I've played against these guys, uh, Smiley and um Wafty, the Wario here, and what they like to do is in teams is they follow one person a lot and really just rush that guy down a lot. At least that's what they did in me and teams, like just like that, exactly. Mm -hmm. They're really they have really really good mechanics as a team. The one thing that I, I the one gripe I have of what I've seen so far is the Wario hasn't exactly made the greatest use of his farts. I've seen some good ones, but a lot of them have been just kind of used whenever. Is that is that a general good way it's, to use Wario? It's one of those things where you just kind of have to throw it out there and hope that they do fall into it. But when you're playing in caliber of players at this level, it's it is definitely a really hard move to hit, <laughs> and it's also he's trying to not hit his opponent or his teammate as well. Oh yeah, it does have a pretty big hitbox. The larger, the more you uh, charge it up. Ooh. Oh wow, these combos! He said, something that I noticed earlier is uh, the, the game and watch was getting uh, he, uh, let's let's say he's getting a bit salty when he was uh, he was getting pretty focused by um, I believe it was Shane's villager. He did not like that he lost two stocks real quick, and they started focusing him really hard. Do you think that that's a viable strategy? The uh, the game and watch seems to have a bit of a um, for lack of a better word tamp temper issue when it comes to this. <laughs> I think that if if it's not working for him and he's dying and he's getting two stocks taken off really really fast, he's gonna have to do something to change it up, or he's just gonna get the same thing's gonna happen. It's gonna happen a third time. It's okay. just it's easy to read, and once you start seeing a player do the same mechanics or the same mistakes over and over again, like constant dodges, constant rolls, you just learn your opponent and you're able to punish it. Okay. And he just learned it the first time and then just did it again, and then his opponent learned it, so it wouldn't happen a third time. All right, well, good oh, adaptation. Oh, that bull. Yes, that was a great bowling ball. That villager living up to 224%. Have you seen anything like that from a character that light? Villager is such a fantastic character in teams. It's, All around he's good, but just in teams he can stock hold so well. And then, be, I mean, being a smaller character as well, so he doesn't take a, that much damage, and he just has a lot of defensive capabilities. He seems to be able to... Oh, oh wow, he pocketed, pocketed the bike. bike. I'm not sure, but I, I believe that means Wario cannot use the bike now for 30 seconds. Um, well, from what I've, what I've heard is that when Vigilant, Villager pockets a one-time use item, until he, Villager dies, that item is no longer usable. Like Diddy. Or, it's, or 30 seconds. So if he has the banana in his pocket for 30 seconds, the banana disappears in his pocket. So Diddy gets again. You can repocket. That is also an option. Yes. Okay. Well, there we go. This is It's not impossible for the Villager to take... Oh, wow. And I may have spoken too soon. This is Their, their synergy has gotten so much better over the, over the course of the tournament. And when I first saw these guys, I didn't have any high hopes for them. They, uh, they were good, yeah, but the... They weren't working together. I don't know how. Like you said, they've they've been teaming a lot together, but this is this is amazing. I've traveled with these guys out of state a couple times too, and they they usually do really really well. Oh oh! Wow. I don't even have words to explain what just happened. That was that was godlike. Oh, snap. I mean, like, like I blinked, and then I was like, oh, "Okay, wait, yeah. what?" He got a, he got a roll behind into a bowling ball on both of them, and it KO'd. You know, like they say, luck is a skill, man. and it, you can th there. There's a good bit of Rep just got a 300 in bowling, man. Jeez, right? Turkeys all day. He needs to go pro in bowling. Screw the smash career. <laughs> Got a plenty of practice right here. Now I like the battlefield counter pick if they end up staying it, but uh, 
Wafty's team. No. What? Oh, yeah, no, 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 sorry. Other way around. Fucking, uh, the, uh, Yoshi. There you go. Yeah, sorry. I'll change that as it goes. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Alright. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, Battlefield seems like a great option, but I'm pretty sure they banned it every single time. Ooh. It seems like the best stage to take them to. It deals with Yoshi's landing game, you know, all those landing traps he has on people, and it deals with the, that bowling ball pressure. Smashville, though, I don't think is the right stage to take them to. It gives Villager way too much. I believe I agree with you, actually. With him being able to, something that Villager, see, uh, SSD or Shane, when he's on that platform, he'll charge that bowling ball and then just let that platform bring him to you, himself to him and, and then it, just drop the ball on him. And twos, you don't necessarily have the opportunity to go over there and challenge him all that often, especially with a character like Yoshi disrupting. You know, if he's over here fighting a uh, game to watch, one a, a whiffed egg. Wow, that was that great. down air into up air combos. But if with those eggs, you know, you whiff on one side, it threatens the other side, breaking their combo, and that's the, the great synergy that I see with their team. And they're not exactly, you know, without abilities to go in. Yoshi's a great character. He's definitely one of those you have to know how to play against him. I got I got a little bit lucky in my uh, in my pool. I had to play against a Yoshi. It wasn't a Yoshi of uh, Yoshikin's caliber, but that character is very difficult. If you don't know exactly what you're doing or have a little bit of a stroke of luck, then such a safe character. I mean, both these characters are so safe. Yoshi and Villager, <laughs> yep. so safe. Like the the oh goodness, wow. That stage spike. That the, yeah, those those fairs have been so great. Yeah, as as wow, off the top. That's this really good recognition, like this, this... Oh. Ah. Wow, not dying, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, there it is, though. Uh, Yoshi's, what, like the fourth or fifth heaviest character? Ooh, Wario is angry. Uh, he wasn't having that anymore. He was like, nope, I'm getting these two out of here. We're going to restart this. This is going to take a little bit. they got to play this stock really, really well. And it's not it's not without possibility. Just, I still really don't agree with this battle... Uh, this, uh... Just, uh which was Smashville choice. Yeah, I agree. Hey, see, that's another thing. This tree, I, I talked to Reptar earlier about the, um, oh, see, repocketing. I guess he can't use it. Otherwise, there'd be no reason to repocket it. If he repockets it, it resets the timer. Yeah, so, it, so that's why I'm assuming he just can't use the motorcycle for now. That's ridiculous. But, um... Wow, what a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right? He Villager, takes his bike. He's the spawn of Satan. You know, the, of all the Smash beams I've seen, it's definitely Jeez. Villager with uh, fire in his eyes. Villager keeps character. trying to drop that Dunton all over them, and it's like... Mm -hmm. Those turnips, you know? Oh, oh. oh you need the bike to heal up. Back throw, not going to kill it. Surprisingly, his forward throw seems to be his kill throw. Which is odd compared to every other character. There we go, alright. It's just not looking too hot for them. They're all at pretty high percents. It's going to take some uh, some nine hammers to get them back in this. Not oh. right now. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. That he had the fart, too, so he yeah. could have come back, but still. They can do oh. this. Oh, there we go. The kid is light. <laughs> but when I, uh, earlier, I was talking to Reptar about um, about the trees. Because I, I personally, I was thinking, okay, tree seems like a really good option. And... Um, it's so weird to see how he uses it because he was telling me that it's it's not the safest thing in the world in twos and I can agree, I can definitely agree with that it takes a little bit of time to set up but given that opportunity he's definitely making the full use of the tree oh missed missed fart that's unfortunate that could have oh. taken the stock but the the tree is just so much pressure all by itself I don't usually see too many uh top villagers use the tree at least like as a constant thing i do see them do it every now and then in the game just kind of like for an option yeah it's but, it's one of those things it feels like it uh, it keeps your opponents honest in a way and it also keeps this entire like you place a tree over on the right side this side's villagers what are you gonna do you can't oh, or you wow, can just double range. villager and pocket the trees and then oh, one, one hit God. ko people that's <laughs> that's dirty don't even don't even tell anybody about this if shit Let's just hope to God Shane and Reptar never <laughs> team together, or they are guaranteed winner's side just going. But this is a comeback, it looks like. Ah, but unfortunate. 200% though, that was not still good. Impossible. A Wario living up, he's not exactly the heaviest character in the world. He's pretty, pretty floaty, but he can move around really well in the air. That is his strongest suit, I believe, is his, his aerial mobility. Oh. oh! Oh my god! That was so unfortunate. That super armor, though, saving Yoshi. 
Definitely a real perk. You don't. He doesn't have a real up B. Yo, cool. if he brings this back though, he is ahead. He is ahead. Well, I don't even know if you'd even consider it ahead with Rage now. Yeah. It's like oh. I, I'm not so familiar with uh, Game and Watch's kill options though. I mean, I know he has the obvious the the smashes and such. Nine hammers. You know, you'd like to think his it's up, an option. His up smash it has a. Uh, it has the armor on it. Ah. Oh, jab Ooh. into anything. Probably the thing that makes Yoshi a high tier character. Jab into whatever you want. Alright, so they're up 2 0. So 2 0 oh. long lost brothers. 